的盟友的情，只有盟友的我，只有只盟友一个人，也比我更熟悉。这几天呢，也都可能我比较累了，你看着也不离家，背起就是吃饭了。nó nói lại ngoài kho và cái dòng xe đó cho miền tú miền tây và cái địa hải sư nhớ đồ đủ trong nó nè địa thất thất rồi chỉ chỉ có thể bỏ một lần trong tua chỉ ở chỉ một sai sai là quá chỉ không Rau nó, giờ thôi rau lúc còn họ rice chỉ mua ít lúc còn chen lan đỡ lo sau thiết của mong cho tuân sai cận đỡ địa hải sưu đôi chồng. ở xưa nàng gọi bảo, lão lũ họ kia, giờ lòn thiệt cái ba đồ cho tuấn sài lúa, xí chùa lão cho cái phong cái dừa, thiết cái xí đồ rồng, sau lão cho cái cậu chú, thiết chú lão tề, có bận thâu mua ở ít tuấn nàng chỉ xưa, mò xưa gần đó, mua hồ lụy rồng ua, thiết thâu lão ua tàu ít tuấn nàng chẳng kén, nhỏ lụy hồ trồng, hải lụy hồ lụ. lỡ lũ họ phe nọ, nhưng do ý lũ họ phe rộng, ta chỉ cho nên tôi cũng mua chợ. Cho nhà lỡ ủa nọ, nhà ủa bú đỡ, lỡ sau đâu sẽ đợi cho mình nhổ sự. Ta chỉ chẳng chỉ mua nên tôi cũng chung, do tỷ lý giá, bố nhớ sẽ đợi chỉ bảo cho lũ công chăng nọ, lỡ chỉ bố nhớ sẽ đợi chỉ bảo cho tụ xiên chỉ đợi lũ công chăng nọ. lo yo sẽ được xả hay tiền sẽ được bao trả cho nàng nọ lợi cho tuân sai lúa tôi còn nu nọ một cái lọ rễ đầu dạ xử lý cho cái phong dư đo lự tù xí khía chú ý cho cái ổn nàng xí tự chú chỉ yếu không bị mong lũ sau rõ lòn đợi cho nàng chẳng chẳng thế còn nọ y bố mò ok nay cho mình nhỏ chỉ tao tôi còn xong nọ lỡ bả đầu dạ, ta chỉ cuốn chân hai tia, lỡ chẳng nhớ muôn gì, đâu cho tuân sai lúa cận đầu tia hai sku đồ lự chồng, giòn chóng thì lỏng lỏng, thế cho nên cho mình nhớ tôi còn trâu lự chồng, thầu có cho có tụ mình nhớ tôi còn, tới lúc cũng chẳng 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 lên nọ, nếu chỉ nhớ nhớ ba tàu có tụ mình nhớ gì, ta chỉ nhớ ba tàu có tụ ở nhà ở gì ở đi gì. If everybody could please give a round of applause and make some noise for our Rice CEO to lead. A lot of people might say, you know what, it's just high school graduation. What's the big deal out there, right? But to me, looking back through my lived experiences, um, I say that it is the first fulfillment of a 14-year commitment that you guys have put into. My name is Elang Vang, uh, the PR of RISE. And as you see uh, to the high schoolers, I'm also very young. I'm 25. So I'm not much older than uh, many of you. I, I'm a little disappointed that 
哎，哎，两蒙起过后，到过来，又又莫给不想呢。啊，但是哎，要说呢，哎，我认识有给，没有认识就出生呢，别靠毛病，别靠人类性，有人要别去。我你我好路上吃，那么他那个我你我自己要 sponsor， 然后后面呢，把课题啊，别的哎，我真的是了，我特别。Is it more we would like to have Ian Shaw come up to the stage, who is part of the Asian faculty staff of Fresno City College? I'm proud of the Hmong heritage. The richness in the Hmong history is what brought us to America, and the sacrifices we provided us with the opportunity and privilege to access an education, gain work, and live in America. You are able to make a difference at your home, among your peers, and in your community. Two, there will be challenges um, and barriers that you may consider as failures or obstacles, but let not that define you. Embrace these moments as learning opportunities and challenge to growing in persistence and character. Third and last, celebrating each success, no matter how big or small it is. Those successes are important because you made them possible. Congratulations, graduates. Yes, I'm going to tell next one through for those that don't know me. My name is Jada Herr. I'm youngest in California, first year of 2024. Uh, same thing that, as you emerge into the next chapter of your life as young adults, Remember that the journey is your own. Like I said, it's not your parents' journey, it's not your friend's journey, right? And embrace the opportunities ahead with confidence, curiosity, and courage. Whether you continue your, your education, or you enter the workforce, or you pursue other passions, know that your path is unique and it's valuable, and it's worth celebrating no matter how big it is or how small it is. And always surround yourself with people who support and uplift you, so your family, your friends, or your partner. And never be afraid to seek out new experiences and challenges. And in life, there are many turns that you have to take to get to your destination. But with determination and a clear direction, know that you can navigate through anything. And those are my words of advice to you all, to my high schoolers, as you are the next leaders in our generation. So let's continue to support one another, stay informed, and take action to improve our community and our world. Thank you. Please welcome Misty Herr to the stage. So graduates, um, all the hopes and dreams of the world are waiting for you. Wherever life takes you, wherever you choose to blazing trail, however you decide to do this, know that you are the authors of your own future. You know, don't be afraid to take on the challenges of the world. You're going to face many, many challenges. And I want to share a personal story with you. You know, when I was thinking about taking on the role as the superintendent of Fresno Unified School District, there were many who came up to me and many who told me that I was not good enough, that a woman was not qualified enough. Um, I have people that will come straight up to my face and say to me, you and your kind will never be able to run our district, and if you think you can, you have a thing coming to you. And I want to talk to you about Brandy, and I want to thank someone here because I was at an event, and my friend Brandon, uh, I was going through all of that, and I want to personally thank you, Brandon, because Brandon came up to me and he said, Misty, don't be scared. Wear that as a badge of honor. And I never realized that until that, point, uh, until that moment. You're going to hear Brandon in a few minutes. Is Brandon came up to me that night, and I was going through all kinds of craziness because I was getting it from everywhere. You know, everybody was coming at me and, and telling me that I didn't belong and I didn't have a place at the table. And that night, Brandon said to me, Misty, wear this like a badge of honor. And it, it did something to my heart. And I want to talk to you about branding because when all that was happening, I found that I started to lose myself. I forgot who I was and where I came from because all the noise was drowning out 
What I really wanted to do was to make sure that kids that looked like you and me had a fighting chance in this world. And so I went back to my roots and I started to realize that, number one, I come from a really rich culture and I come from a heritage that is so incredibly beautiful and there's no one in this world that can claim themselves to be home. And so you know how I started to rise to the top? Was when I went back to my roots and I didn't forget who I was and I didn't forget where I come from. And I wanted to make sure that everybody knew that And I Long at the table, not just to sit at the table, but you belong to sit at the table, to eat at the table, and to stand at that table, and to have a voice at that table, and don't you ever forget that. And to lead at that table. Yes, and to lead at that table. And so, you know, I just want to thank all of you for being there for me, and all of you for giving me my strength, because it is because of you that I'm able to stand up here. And I do want to also thank you uh, for, for standing and for saying, Misty, you can do this, don't give up. And so I just want to tell each and every single one of you that you are incredibly special. You know, don't worry about the big brands out in the world like Nike, Adidas, you know, whatever. Your biggest brand, your most powerful brand, your brand is that you are home. And that is the most important brand that is the most beautiful brand that you have and because you know why no one else can claim it but you and so you know remember we need your brilliance we need your passion we need your unwavering determination and we need your light to shine and we need you to come back to our community there is so much need here in Fresno and I hope that you get to experience life to its fullest wherever you choose to go and then I pray that you come back home to us. And you come back with all the knowledge and experiences that you have gained because we need you and we need you to stand strong with us. And when times get really hard for you, just remember that you have an entire home community that is cheering you on, that believes in you, and that is with you in spirit always. And so don't forget that. And if no one tells you this, just know that we love you, you are so deeply loved, and you are so deeply cared for. Congratulations, students. I'm so proud of you. Please welcome Gina Liu. I was very fortunate. My parents uh, immigrated to the United States in 1976, and I have eight siblings. Um, actually, my mom has eight of us, and each and every one of us was born here in the United States. And so for me, uh, my life here in the United States would have been someone else's uh, second chance in life, or would have been someone else's uh, next reincarnation. And so I went ahead and took the opportunity of being born and raised in the United States and being an American to fight like an American and to make this country mine and to make it, the pur make it purposeful of uh, the reason of why our parents and our grandparents uh, shed so much tears and had carried so much pain uh, to be able to cross the Beacon River to have us here today. Uh, so I just want to say thank you to my mom, my dad, my siblings, uh, because my mom's here with us. We're celebrating the incredible achievement of you. This is a significant milestone that marks the beginning of an exciting journey. As you stand at the threshold of the future, I want to encourage you to continue to pursue your education and strive to live out your dreams. Education is the key that unlocks countless of opportunities and empowers you to reach your full potential. 
By furthering your education, you're investing in yourself and opening doors to a world of possibilities. So, I think that the people who are living in the world are living in the world. I was privileged to have recently came back from Laos and visited Laos, and I was able to see the schools that were in our Hmong communities. And uh, I was sad to see how underprivileged they were, and it definitely strengthened me to see what opportunities we have here in America. And I encourage each and every one of you guys to go back to our homeland and see, the, uh, see our people there who want the kind of education that we have, who wants to be here but is unable to be here and unable to have possibilities and have their dreams come true. So your journey is not only your journey for yourself, but it's also a journey that you are carrying for the people who have passed before you and for all of your people who have been in the home country that has not been able to make it here. You have the potential to become a future leader who will shape our society and make a positive impact on the world. So I urge you to start thinking about what kind of leader you want to be, what changes you want to see, and how you can make a difference, and what is significant to you. For me, understanding what my parents had been through to get here to the United States, and hearing the stories of my grandparents sharing generational ongoing war in Laos. And yes, I said it, ongoing generational war happening in Laos, from the French trying to conquer Laos, Okay, to the Vietnam War. So this made me feel like I am the lucky one. Better yet, if you've made it this far, we are all the chosen one. I know I wouldn't be able to be as strong as they were. Generations of war in a third world country, they shed that unbearable pain and suffering that I could never really understand, but can only imagine. Therefore, I stand here urging you to believe in your abilities, strive for excellence, and never underestimate the impact that you have. The world is waiting for your leadership, so don't go back. And as you continue your education journey, remember that your presence is not only making the difference in your own life, but also in the lives of those who will follow in your footsteps. It's your time. Congratulations to all the graduates, 2024. Please welcome Andrew Bailey. My word of advice for you guys, just work hard and be persistent. That way, you'll be successful. Please welcome to the stage, Bye. If you're going to join the military, do something that's transferable in the real world. Because you don't know if you're going to stay in for your terms, or you don't know if you're going to do a whole 20 years of retirement. And please give a warm welcome to Michelle Wade. The communication, going back to communication is when you're communicating, you learn to meet people. You learn mentorship. You learn networking skills. And so why? We need communication. And I'm going to encourage you guys when you go to college, take communication, not just because you have to, but take it to learn the interpretation, to learn their different ways. And also, don't be scared to meet people. Because no questions are dumb questions. Please welcome Brandon Bay. So if I were to give you one advice, study hard. You will be successful. Please welcome Ken Bay.
dream big, they dream bigger. Never dream too small. Dream big, they dream bigger. Please welcome to the stage, Dr. Tu Her. Mom, I'm not. Today, I'm going to show you. I'm going to try to. 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 I'm going to try to.